In the light of strikingly consistent observations from many population-based studies, there can be little doubt that the habitual consumption of diets high in fruits and vegetables helps reduce the risk of development of degenerative diseases, including many types of cancers. Not satisfied with just telling people to eat their fruits and veggies, scientists want to know the mechanism. Fruits and vegetables are not just vehicles for antioxidants. They contain innumerable phytonutrients that can boost our detoxification enzymes, modulate gene expression, and even DNA repair. Till fairly recently, it was generally assumed that functions as important as DNA repair were unlikely to be readily affected by nutrition. But if you compare identical twins to fraternal twins, only about half to three-quarters of DNA repair function is genetically determined. The rest we may be able to control. It's estimated that on average there are 800 incidents of DNA damage in our bodies per hour. That's 19,000 hits to our DNA every day, and that DNA damage can cause mutations that can give rise to cancer if not repaired. Thankfully, the regulation of DNA repair may be added to the list of biological processes that are influenced by what we eat, and specifically that this might constitute part of the explanation for the cancer-preventive effects of many plant-based foods. Any plants in particular? Well, nine fruits and vegetables were tested to see which was better able to boost DNA repair. Lemons, persimmons, strawberries, oranges, choy some, which is like skinny bok choy, broccoli, celery, lettuce, and apples. Which ones made the cut? Want to guess? Lemons, persimmons, strawberries, broccoli, celery, and apples each confer DNA protection at very low doses. Here's what lemons could do, for example. Cuts DNA damage by about a third. Was it the vitamin C? No. Removing the vitamin C from the lemon extract did not remove the protective effect. However, if you boiled the lemon first for 30 minutes, the effect was lost.